Welcome to Rule of the Land, Pioneer. Now, this is a kind of cool survival game in which you have to survive in a hospitable land. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get started, the first things to do, first things to look out for. And this is basically to get you through the starter character. Now, by this time, you've gone through the tutorial. You've gone and done the little things on how to shoot and do this and that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and refine that and get you started really nicely. Later on, you'll get other characters to play after you make it past a certain amount of days. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And we're going to go in normal mode. These modes unlock. They are a little harder. I would suggest you start on summer because it is the easiest. If you start in spring, it's a little harder. But if it's your first time playing, since this is a new player guide, beginner's guide, definitely start in summer. So we're going to click summer right here. You'll notice that you start with Andrew and he's pretty good when, it look, when you look at it, he's got good strength, he's got good speed, immunity, and all that. You have these other characters that have other strengths uh, too, but um, they will unlock later on. They've got different weapons and so forth, but let's start with this guy here. Now each area you start in is a little bit different than the other. And there are other uh, pros and cons to it. For example, in the city, there's a lot of mechanical stuff, cars to loot, things like that. But on the other hand, um, you'll have other problems in the city with uh, your items wearing out. Let's go ahead and start in the mountains. And we're going to start right there. These are your competitors here. You're hoping that they get killed and they get dysentery and things like that. Okay, so first things first, when you start out, you're going to go ahead and use uh, W, A, S, to, uh, and D. You can move this around right here. This symbol right here is click to build. If you click on this and you have the materials, for example, these items here, you can build these things. Now, the first item you want to be looking to build is the rainwater collector. All it requires is the wood and some stone. Okay, so we're going to get that when we get out there. So that's the first item you should build. The first thing you should try to do before you, when you can, is get some skins so you can upgrade your bag. This means you can hold more out there. Left click on this, open this up, and this will give you bullets, water, can of beef, good wood, crowbar, and there we go. So to access that, click warehouse or click the B key. Now we can go to other, you'll notice you have this. Let's see if we can go ahead and build the rainwater collector. But the reason why you want to build the rainwater collector, nope, not, not enough wood, is because water is in short supply out here. You can also make the bonfire, which is very handy. It'll allow you to cook things. So we're going to go ahead and just try to make the bonfire first. And actually, three of these. We got to go get wood first. So this tells you, so this tells you three wood. So, um, Let's see, we don't really have anything to cook just yet, so we're not going to make that. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to cook in there. Okay, so let's talk about the controls right here. This one here is your mental status right here. You need to get sleep to regenerate this. It's very, very important. This is your health right here. The blue line is energy. You can uh, improve that with your water. And the white line outside is your health. You can improve that by eating stuff. This is your temperature gauge. When it gets too hot or too cold, you suffer adverse effects. These are your competitors out there. They have no illnesses or anything like that. Not yet. You can see your day timer ticking by very slowly. So you got to keep moving and get on the ball here. So let's head out here, push all the way to the right, at which point this uh, pops up. It pauses the timer, which is good. These bullets are good, anesthesia bullets. They won't break the hide. It's really important you don't. You can change the uh, weapon by pressing letter C when you're in combat. Take two of those. Take uh, two of these for just uh, bad guys come up or you want to kill something. Next, take one water with you. At this point, I wouldn't worry too much about taking too much water. Just take one water and maybe one food. You want to make sure you can carry the most, but I take the water depending on the temperature. Other things important, take the crowbar. Now I'm going to give you a couple tips on the crowbar. It's very important not to overuse the crowbar because they are hard to make. And what I mean by that is the ore is not easy to come by. It's, it's actually rare. 
So you don't want to be banging everything apart. And this is one of the problems in the city is if you use the crowbar, you're going to be using it too much. Now we're going to go over here. The colors that are by the um, area, like here, hunting area, they have, this is a gold and that's stone. This is coal and that's ore. So this is a good place to get ore. This is a saltpeter. This is wood. This is just wood and nothing else. So let's go ahead and the first place we want to go is I'd like to go up here and it'll t show you how long it takes to get there. So now we've landed in this other area. It is nighttime as you can see. Look at the temperature. So over here we have an intact hide. Intact hide is very, very good because you can use this to upgrade your backpack once you get back to your home area. You can get into this area. Notice how it lets you hide by pressing S and this will allow you to sneak up on things. To so get out of this position, hit double D, hit D twice and you're out. Now you have a mantis. This is an insect. You can collect everything. You're going to use this later on when you set up a little hen house. Now this is a See how it gets here? It gives you stone or coal reserves. What's important at this point is to get all the food you can, but you're gonna need that stone and coal reserve. Left click on it, and it will go ahead and then watch here. Okay, we got one stone. We do need a couple stones. Down on the radar here, you'll see this is a small animal that you can capture. I'm gonna show you how to capture small animals. And this game is kind of fun. Uh, you would think that this is all there is to it, but I played it for a little while and there's a lot more to it. I won't spoil it. The kind of uh, bad guys you're going to run into and interesting things. A lot of interesting things happening out here. Okay, so let's get that. The snail here. Do not eat it because anything says it can poison or dysent give you dysentery. Dysentery, as you know, is kind of like a real bad diarrhea. Do not eat it, but collect it nevertheless because later on you can trade that. Or you can go ahead and cook that. Very, very important. Okay, so he sees me. Hit S to crouch. 54% to hit. And when he's facing you, this is going to be a problem. We're going to shoot him because we need to. See, like that. And this is really important to get this guy. I believe there is... What's that up there? Oh, it's just a squirrel. Okay, so click on this. And he has goat meat. It was just a goat. Intact hide. Very good. And this, you can make something out of that. Left click on that, and you're gonna get that. So let's get this guy. When you see this guy, you're gonna run up to him. When you get up to him, you're gonna press space like that, okay? There, you just jump him like that. You capture him. Later on, you can cook him uh, for meat, meat for eat. Next thing is a gold mine. Sometimes you're gonna get gold or it's rare. Once again, it's going to take you a long time to work this. But let's just keep working it because we need stone. We're going to try to fill up our bag. But before that, we're going to leave a couple spots. Notice that your health and energy, your water and energy are going down. This is not good. You're going to have to drink stuff. That's why I say bring it. Also over here is the amount of robbers out there. Uh, if you can kill all of them, um, and others will kill, these other guys will kill them. If you can kill all of them, then you'll... Uh, make the place safer and you'll advance also. So now we do need wood out here, but there's no wood here. So let's go. Now these things are good to do because you will get a quest later that will say, did you do this or did you do that? And if you did, you can go ahead and complete the quest without doing it. So just do it while you're here. Um, save yourself some time. And as you see, you, the time is going by really fast. As you get up to here, notice we're losing that. Come on. There we go. Hit letter B and let's drink see there goes look at the green bar it went up see that's really nice you can eat this too it will give you energy uh, we'll go ahead and eat it now see it moved it up just a tiny bit but don't eat anything else that will cause dysentery that's a no-no now you can plant crops here by left clicking it so we can put a strawberry seed here now if we plant stuff here other people can poach it but let's go ahead and plant it because we can come back and get it and you can harvest this stuff here okay so let's move forward and there's a dead body that's right great wonderful dead bodies are useful for going through their pockets there we go expired coca-cola now you can get poisoning from it but take it you got log fragment which will go ahead 
Um, it tells you, it gives you little tips basically that's all it is. You can see I played this a while so click on the tips and then the next thing you're going to do you're going to get, whoops, what was that? There, see how it says E to enter? Here we go. Press E and you go down to the underground. Now down here you're going to need um, cave minerals in there. You need to blast it so you have to take that gunpowder from back at the base that you got. If you bring the gunpowder here you can do that. I would make a note of this area here. Now we have 23 out of 30, so there's no more areas. Let's quickly go back and uh, charge up. See here how it is it's growing right here. Let's go ahead and the other one, I believe, let's just work this one because you want to get the gold ore. What you really want to do is you want to get enough resources so that you can, um, let's go over here, let's see if there's more, that you, so you can make another crowbar because the problem in this game is the crowbar breaks. So this is stone and coal. We'll need coal too. The crowbar will break very, very easily. And once it breaks, you can't get all the good stuff anymore. So let's do this. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so in here we have three coal, which is okay. We have no gold nuggets. We have plenty of rocks here. The coal you will need later on. You can use it for many, many things. Um, and let's keep working this. This is taking a long time. Look at the food. Uh, uh, over here in upper left it's going down take one more and you just keep working it and working it working it on these outside open world areas you can exit the map by going left or right what I do after this now that's done let's exit and then now we've exited so, so there's a bad guy right here okay bad guy on the loose but we got to go back to the camp what I would do is go back to the camp we can shoot him and beat him up. I'll show you how to fight them in just a moment, so stay tuned. So once you go here, now we're back at the base. Notice how many materials we have. We can make a tent which will allow you to sleep, but I wouldn't do that yet because you can sleep out there and find your own place to sleep. We still need more wood before we can do that. Bonfire, of course. The furnace is good to make. We have plenty of rocks. Let's make the furnace. And this furnace, as you can see right here, will allow us to make iron. But iron is really rare. It's hard to come by. You can hit upgrade, which will increase the speed and capacity. Okay, so let's use those hides to upgrade the bag so we can carry a lot. Each time we click it, notice that. We want to upgrade this bag ASAP. Now we're out here. We're losing a little health because we haven't had made our bonfire yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can make the bonfire. We can. Let's build the bonfire. And next thing we're going to do, it's already fired up. Let's see if we can get a few things in here. It's just snails and this. Let's do this. Let's uh, show you how to do this. Let's go into here. And let's go over there and let's kill the poor squirrel. Ah, uh, yeah. And so he's dead. And so now we're going to cook him, make a nice little squirrel out of him. And this way he is safe to eat. Go like this. Add these in here. This will make cooking oil. It's on roaster mode. And you will get this later on. You can stew or fry, but I just roast. Okay, see how it's taking a long time to do that? So that's good. Now we do need to get some more food. This will take a long time. So now we're going to go back here. Let's see what we need. We have our bonfire already. I really want to get the rainwater thing, so we've got to go for the this right away. So let's go ahead and let's do that. We're going to run for it. And also put two of these in here. And let's go ahead and put one rainwater. Oh, if you use Coca Cola, actually, on a hot day, this is good to cool you down. And put one, actually, let's eat these, toss these in here. You can boost this up before you get out there. And we're going to take this with us and we're going to depart. Let's go after this guy here. And we're going to walk to it. You see, these guys are running around out there, but here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, shoot. Okay, see that give and refuse like that? Okay, shoot this guy because this guy does damage to you. And one bad thing about this guy is if you don't shoot him, you're going to have to give him something out of your inventory. So let's shoot first, ask questions later. Gives you a novel which increases your mental capacity a little bit. This is uh, needs repairing. Notice you need this string to repair um, this fishnet. This will bring your food. Each time you play this, the map is a little bit different, so you got to keep in mind that 
here we go. Here's the wood. Okay, so this is this peasant here. Let's get this guy. Let's come on, coming with me. We got him. Okay, so we got him. Let's start getting wood. We're gonna need lots and lots of wood. Wood is the priority. And you can see if we're a little low on food, but don't worry so much on food. See, now it's raining. This would be. This is why you want to have the um, the rainwater collector because it's actually kind of hard to get water in this game. Food is not too big a deal. You can always cook stuff, but oh, when it comes to water. So now we're gonna make a, as much wood as we can and fill this up. And there's another animal. We're gonna try to shoot that animal. Although we didn't bring enough uh, ammo. Let's see, maybe we did. Nope, we only have one shot, and that may not be enough. But uh, sometimes it is. And we keep getting all the wood. So we have eight wood only. The wood you're going to need actually more than you think you need to build because you're going to need it as fuel also. It's much better to use it as fuel. So there's 35 bad guys out there. Let's check on our, our, com our competitors. No illness, no illness, no illness. Everybody's doing all right so far. But eventually they're going to start getting dysentery because they just can't help themselves. So here we go again. Now we're getting these firewood worms. These are used for when we have make a hen house. And if we make a hen house back home, we can feed our chickens and then they'll start producing eggs. And it's nice. So see, now you know why we upgraded the bag. Well, it's very, very important. Okay, let's go ahead and look in here. We do need food eat all these foods like this okay, drink a water like this you might as well use it this will free up a bag space and we're going to work on this and then I'm going to show you once we get to another underground area and keep working just make as much food as you can keep in mind that if you're cooking something and it is raining that will um, extinguish the fire back there so you got to be aware of that and we're going to can carry lots and lots of wood so there we go 22 woods that's eh, probably good let's leave it at that let's move forward this way who do we have over there let's see oh it's a big guy oh look at this oh Shh. oh well that's why so much for that some guys are harder than others uh, it should be a, sometimes you go like this that's a hiding spot sometimes an underground uh, bunker you can go into okay so we have a little guy we can pick him up spoiled eggs you can cook that okay so this guy we can pick him up you're not going anywhere so this is a, a, a peasant same thing as a chicken this is water hot commodity make sure you pick it up pick this up this one stone or saltpeter we're gonna need that once again sometimes saltpeter is the rare there we go saltpeter first try fill up your bags it's always nice to kill the animal first and that would have been a nice meal for us see stone we got a saltpeter and you got to grind it up here this map it didn't have a place where we can rest Okay, 37, fill everything up because we're heading right back home after this. And one more. So you can see here what I did is the bag is the first import, most important. Good, two saltpeters, that's nice. We'll need that later. And now we're here. So there's somebody, a bad guy out here. But once again, we're here. We're going to go back to the camp. It's time to go back. And now we're back. Okay, so once again, look at here what happened here. This guy here, whenever you see this guy, make sure you trade with him. Because the higher your trading goes with him, he'll start selling you stuff. Look at materials at 60, but he only gives you an increase of 6 each time. So just pick something that he's got here. Um, ripe berries, immature strawberries, ripe corn. Okay, get one of these. And then you can trade him something that you don't want, like these worms or what do we have here don't want to give them the insects the biscuit don't want to give them that spoiled egg this is called dysentery there he'll trade just make a trade with them you could also trade him other stuff 
and yeah let's just trade him that stuff so trade him something you have a lot of or that you don't really want for example you can trade him wood let me show you this it take four woods to trade him but it took a long time to make that wood so let's go ahead and trade him like the worms well, shoot that we want to keep rice patty spoiled eggs he can have that and there we go friendliness six and you keep working it up like that let's pick up this stuff here pick it all up like so okay and now let's go back to here and we got to get our food supply up notice this drains our mental by negative 10 this puts our health and energy up so we're going to take that and then this guy has a plus 900 you look at the energy going way up so that's really nice to eat right there and then for drinks we can raise this and we can raise that up you can see it's very efficient to raise with water look at how good water works let's just use this stuff up like this and there's juice right there that'll do the same thing you can see food is getting to be a little bit of issue with us so now that we've done that let's go ahead and check our thing here what you want to look at is that we do have a little pheasant in here so let's set up we got the water set up let's set up uh, the Barton and the thing about the Barton that's nice is once we get it we can add chicken see we have uh, hen outside of Barton and uh, there we go put the hen, click this to put the hen in the Barton now look what you can feed her you can feed her corn the insect you can go ahead and feed her this is a good one to feed her and this will go ahead and she'll make eggs for you which is really good so rice and all that you can raise this rice patty and this is selective feeds okay so let's do that and there you go you can also upgrade this here the capacity uh, you can see how much it takes to upgrade it but we're not going to do that just yet we're going to see what else we can build we want to build the tent eventually and um, let's go down here the workbench is also important we need to build that so we do have enough for the workbench and I'm going to show you now if you want to use a crowbar it requires iron iron requires a smelter to make it and this this guy over here and to do this to smell iron you need four iron ores like I said they are rare it is hard to get the four iron ores it's very very hard if you want to upgrade this you need more of these so let's go ahead and we haven't got a tacit but we'll keep going a little bit longer and take a look at here do we have a gunpowder this one we didn't get a gunpowder sometimes you get a gunpowder the charcoal which is used later was made from there we got a chicken male pheasant to put him in there let's see let's try to upgrade this and then increase the capacity okay let's uh add what there's where is he okay so he's not in there and um okay whoops let's get this here and so since he didn't uh join in there then we have the uh honor of killing him like that we're going to kill him and he made a feather this is a construction materials let's go ahead and see you can use the wood to start this up let's go and make he turned into chicken let's make him we can make some nice corn and we're going to cook that's how you use the cooking there okay so now that we did done that we do need to get some rest i'm going to show you one thing on how to do that real quick this will be enough to get you started take two of these regular bullets take three of those bullets take uh 28 centigrade out there this is when it gets hot it's summertime take that expired coke we can trade this and as for food books we're going to take this with us okay so now we have this let's depart so this guy he's over there right now let's go and get to him and let's kill him and when we do that it takes kind of a long way around there okay oh, he has the gun okay so you know what happens when they have the gun it's time to 
shoot them. Yeah, shoot first, ask questions later. That's right, don't mess with the guy with the gun. And he just had this book on him. We're going to take the book. And over here, this is stone and sulfur in it. Okay, sulfur is something else you're going to need later, so go ahead and take this. Nice thing about the mountain environment is that in the mountain environment, there are a lot of things here. Fishnet to repair, you need string, as we mentioned. And each time we kill one, we bring it down because our other guys have no illness, no illness, no illness. And this is good stone construction material. Okay, there's our little guy here. Gotcha. Oh, and look at that. There. And this guy here. I'm going to shoot him. Shoot. Look at that. No bullets. And that's the problem. We wasted the bullets on the other guy, but you got to do what you got to do. There's a peasant. He got nailed in the progress. The process, I mean. There's some worms. This one has stone or ore. This is what we want right here. But let's keep going before we get to them. And we picked them up at the same time. And we got this. And this one has expired a fragment and uh, they talk about this let's go back to here and this is very very important here we're going to go ahead and we hopefully get ore we need four of them let me tell you you're going to be here a lot oh good one ore what a miracle and this stone you're going to get a lot of stone and what you can do is if you want to just get ore you can throw the stone away and no bullets When you have more space in your pack, you can take more bullets because we really missed out on an opportunity to get the skins. Look how long it takes. Just that, look at, oh, you're good, two ores. Come on, three ores, that's good. We only have one ore place. Just come on, get the ore this time. Keep going, let's get that ore. And we have four, oh good, we have four ores, so that's good enough. Okay, so four ores is good. So let's go over to here. This is the crabs, okay. And this is wood, we'll pick it up, we'll take the wood. Okay, now we're gonna go back to here. And if you notice when we went over this, it says E to enter. Here we go, this is the underground bunker, your first underground bunker. In here, you notice the symbol has a hand, and if you click the hand, means you can just pick up whatever. There's beer, and there's plenty of water, and over here you have the crowbar symbol. This is, means there's some goodies in there. What you want to do is make sure not to use it on every single thing just yet, because a crowbar can break. It wears off, wears out after a while. Now we're 40 out of 40, so at this point, what I would suggest is start using up some of these items here to get some uh, space in your inventory right here let's see this is a bean can let's do that we need to get a little more space and this is a uh, to increase the mental capacity notice you can't really do it unless you sleep uh, when sufficient sleep mental insufficient sleep mental decrease when sufficient sleep mental increases but you got to increase these other guys here this is expired so you don't want to eat that there's this grab a water right here this is expired that's expired we'll trade this to the the young boy we have two of these which is good so now once you're here what i would suggest is open this then you're going to see why now you get into here you can repair this here what do you need to repair good old iron to repair it now you're seeing all these things here and so let's take a look at, at this one here. Let's open a few of these. So there we go. We got expired pasta can, gunpowder. See why it's good to say that you got gunpowder. Let's open this here. And this has got rum inside there, two rum. Okay, we're going to still see if we get lucky back here. And uh, expired coke, iron ore, yes. So there we go, we got good iron ore, expired pasta, expired, expired. Now that you've done that, you see your mental status. Come over to the bed, click this, 
and you can sleep a certain amount of time that will improve your uh, sleep by 2000. Sometimes you'll get a message that the bad guy can poach you so you may not want to sleep that long. So we're going to rest and this is important. This is why you don't need to build the tent right away because you can just rest up there. That's pretty good. Now watch what happens if we see, see eight hours poacher, four hours resting after day dawn maybe poach so the bad guy will come around. So let's go ahead and there and it gives you more hints. And that's uh, now that we've done this, it's, it's okay. So uh, we can go through here, but we don't have enough bag, much space left. This is why it's good to increase the bag capacity. And when we're done with that, let's head all the way back. Can't carry any more, unfortunately. Just remember the symbol for ore. And that's a hiding place. And we can repair this with string. That'll be nice. It's great about the mountain areas of playing your ore out here. And you just remember it's this one here. I'm going to go back to there. And these other guys, see their horses over there. We can explain that later. That's more advanced stuff. Now it's time to go ahead. There we go. We can smelt iron right here. And you can change the quality of the iron, uh, quantity, excuse me. So let's go ahead and smelt this. And this guy here, new task, let's accept it. He wants you to shoot pick two big animals, collect wood, collect food one time. It's accepted. Now at the same time, click on the quest. We just need to shoot one more big animal and he'll give you this reward here. So when we go out next time, let's make sure we bring enough ammo with us. We do have a little more ammo, we can do that. And the little hen house is almost done. You see how it gets hazy and wavy? That means it's hot outside. So now, what I do now, now that you have more bag space, is uh, go ahead and you want to eat all that you need to eat before you get out there. And uh, drink up before you get out there. These, we can trade these here. And let's see, we got the two hens. Let's go over to the hen house. Let's go ahead and put one more in there. Got it. I'm gonna put this in there, put a rice patty. And that'll speed it up. It's about done in a moment here. And you'll see this will be done if you use your crowbar. Go over to this. And there we go. Crowbar takes this. Gunpowder, we need level two. So you need to upgrade this thing. So that gut, this takes that. So if you want to upgrade it, it's going to take you two of these. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. Like that. Like so. Now you can make gunpowder. So look at here. We need sulfur. And we need charcoal. Charcoal comes by cooking over this, that's no problem. And we can make gunpowder and then we can uh, blow up areas. Okay, there. First one. There's the first chicken egg. And let's go back to this. Let's go ahead and eat our chicken egg. And these are going to be nice small foods. Although you can bake uh, this guy. You can cook him. If we upgrade this here uh, one more time, we can add another capacity. And the capacity would allow us to go ahead and throw in some more uh, chicken. But the chicken meat, you can go ahead and uh, cook it yourself um, or get it to make the eggs here. So let's just go ahead and kill it like this. Let's go over here. We use add, put in a wood because wood is plentiful. And then after that, let's cook. Let's add in the crab because nobody likes having crabs. And then uh, let's cook this. When we come back, this will be good. Now, do we have our rainwater thingy? It doesn't look like we do. So now it's time to make one of these. We just one more wood out there. Once you get that one wood, you can make that. And once you get that, it's important to upgrade that thing as much as you possibly can. Because you want to make it as big as you can so it covers a bigger area here. So let's see how we're doing here. And you can build more. So we need a wood for that. Let's go out there. Uh, let's bring out six ammo so we can do that bring a water out we just got snail food not a whole lot of food out there and bring a good old crowbar let's depart one more trip out there and this is go down to here capture it with anesthesia bullets that would be nice you can make a stable later on but that's for later let's go ahead and take this guy on and explore each and every one of these areas. 
you're going to have four areas to begin with. Okay, there we go. He says, when you get this guy, here's something I want to point out. You don't have to waste bullets on him. Use your right mouse button to hack away at him. So go up to here. Just keep clicking like that. And just, you know, he just runs into you like, like that. And you can kill him. Okay, you get him. Don't waste any bullets. Bullets are so precious this time of the game. There's a stone. Okay, why not? We need stone. Oh, and there we go. There's our first kill. We need to get this kill here. Got him. It takes two shots to get him. And this one we can go in the secret underground area. Let's go ahead. Broken hide, unfortunately. If you use anesthesia bullets. You can get him, but that's for another time. Let's go ahead and pick up this guy. Come here. Gotcha. And dead bodies are fun to search. Even though they have a lollipop and a fragment and uh, yeah, thunderstorms you want to talk about. Let's get this little puppy. You're coming with me. And there's our wood right over there. So let's make some wood. And then we're going to go downstairs real quick and check it out. And after this, you're going to get to see the first starting area. Now keep in mind you start in different areas like I mentioned. They will be totally different. And even if you start in the same area here, it could be different in terms of what kind of resources you get and what's in here. For example, the fishing net. That's the first time I've seen a fishing net. Let's see how we're doing on the wood. Let's just might as well get more. And underneath here, you can see we got six woods. This is pretty good. We're gonna running a little short on food, but eventually we'll take care of that problem. Let's go all the way back to where was the underground place right here. There you go. Enter. And under here, now we can search. We like to see the hand. And bean can. Good. So what I do is get that bean can. And to clear up space, just eat whatever you can to bring your health back up like this. Health and energy. This requires this. This here. Now see, save the crowbar always for opening the door like that. Because in here... There will be more stuff, and uh, you never know what's in there, but a lot of times it's good stuff. Like, there we go, vegetable can, and adult magazine. I guess that improves your mental status, like it should. So let's go ahead and pop those vegetable cans. This increases your mental by 2,000. Wow. Let's one more here. There you go. See what happened? Crowbar damage. That means we lost the crowbar. It only has so many uses. So we got to make another one. Let's go ahead and use this opportunity to rest. See if we can do eight hours. And while this is going on, we can check on our friends there. No illnesses. This guy's got dysentery, so he may die. And he's got diarrhea. So that's not a good sign when they got diarrhea and dysentery. Because that means they're in trouble. But all that matters is that you win. Let's go out here. Now it's raining, so you see we really got to get back and make that rainwater collector because without it we're gonna run out of water so let's head back real quick uh... wait a second well okay we're just gonna head back for this ah there we go let's unlock this one here and you can go into the area at night so now we can go into this area at night after we've gone enough days in the game by playing it so now this guy's hunting we can go ahead and poach his area so let's go back here and let's get that rainwater thing built. There we go. Build this. Really important. See if we can upgrade it. Keep upgrading this thing. Here we go. Always, like I said, always trade with him. Pick up one thing that he's got like, oh, let's take um, the seed here. I'm going to give him expired stuff here the things that we don't want or you don't want to eat because what we don't want to eat he can eat this you can uh, put in there and let's take his other stuff here sweet potato energy 400 and go like this here we go oops we can take one out and this will be good right here this will increase it but once again, only six six points each time we see him. See if we can upgrade again. And you're gonna see here the upgrade now. Capacity is eleven, collection area is three. The higher it gets, the better it is for you. 
and the smelter can also be upgraded too and the speed is uh, three per day so let's go ahead and upgrade that and here you can make you can finally make the iron there we go so there you go we made the iron which is good let's go into task we've done the quest here so you shoot the big animal two times we'll get two of two we got this let's select the rewards and we got all the rewards this is really nice here comes some other guy I can help you collect wood or iron yes we can so that's a yes and he'll work for you which is really cool you can also talk to him you gotta feed him that's a problem let's go ahead and take this take this and that scroll off our manual like that and we gotta talk to this guy you gotta get him going so for this guy he's got um, loyalty energy water so he looks okay so it doesn't seem like he has a problem or anything like that and there we go so now he's gonna be off and doing now we got to go ahead and eat so once again you can see this is health 40 energy it gives you a little bit but chicken is not bad look at the energy on chicken pretty good don't want to eat that and have some wine that'll help us out these squirrel meat we can cook this so let's head over to this and there's no more wood we do have a coal we put one coal on there I normally wouldn't do this in real life but let's go ahead and cook reindeer meat look at the energy on it the little squirrels only 450 let's make some cooking oil like so and these guys will be ready when we come back and we're gonna cook and there's the eggs as we wanted go into here the chickens two out of two let's go ahead and feed them and we're in business here back over here guess what we can make that we just need one more charcoal and one more sulfur but we can make this now so we only need one iron yes we've made this okay so now we have our crowbar and we're back in business so that right there guys is a, enough to keep you guys going uh, you make a tent you can sleep out here otherwise you can sleep out in the city which is really good too so um, also get more of these you can upgrade your capacity way way up there and like I said if you look at the map screen when you go out there you can go into other other people's areas and poach their areas and so on okay hope you guys enjoy this and good luck with the game thanks for watching